my name is Rasan Chandra and I'm doing mechanical engineering, MEng, with a year in industry. And I'm from Malaysia. The company that I've secured a graduate job with is British Sugar. And I will be joining as a operations graduate and I will be joining on a tier 2 visa. When I, when I started university, I hadn't intended on doing a placement at all. It was through talking with seniors and lecturers alike and I found out that to have the best chance of securing a graduate job, it's best to secure a placement first. In addition, I would obtain the skills that I would need and the experience as well. Yeah. And I think that was really crucial with deciding the sort of career path I would like to take. So I secured a placement with AB Sugar and I applied for my placement during my third year at university. Well, I was placed with the Global Engineering Manager at the head office with AB Sugar. AB Sugar owns several companies in South Africa, in China, in Spain, and, and obviously British Sugar in the UK. And I was dealing with the operations of the different countries. The global exposure played a huge difference there. I didn't have a chance to travel overseas, but it was great because I experienced different, different cultures and different working environments as well. I was the only international student, international placement student at the office. Right. So I think that was, that was really important as, because when, when talking with, with other you know, people from different countries and backgrounds, they would understand the sort of where I'm coming from as well. They offered a, an assessment centre for all of the placement students. So what we had to do was go through a normal assessment centre as a group and also a presentation on the work that we'd done over the past one year. If they were impressed at what they'd seen, they would invite you for an initial interview. So I got invited to the interview with the HR manager. Based on that interview, they, they handed me the job at British Sugar. I applied to a lot of places. I <laughs> <laughs> actually applied to about 50 places, I'd yeah. say. Um, I, most of my first semester in third year was spent applying for jobs. I think whatever, whatever free time I found was applying for jobs and I think that was really important because I didn't have a specific company that I wanted to apply for at the time because I hadn't known which career path I wanted to take at that time. So I think throwing as many applications as I could. I wouldn't say the applications were, were subpar, I'd say I, I put a, a lot of effort into, effort into each application which is why I felt I, I was successful in the end. From the moment I joined university, I found out about the Sheffield Graduate Award, which recognizes the extracurricular activities that you did. Yeah. So from the offset, I had, I had that idea on the back of my mind that I wanted to get involved in, in as many activities as I could. I joined the International Engineering Ambassador Scheme. Yeah. I was giving tours to international students who are looking to study at the University of Sheffield. I was giving presentations to the Faculty of Engineering. And I think that, that played a huge role in, in securing a placement job at the time. I joined the Malaysian Society football team yeah. um, from, from the first year itself. So what we do is we organize football ses sessions and go to competitions th throughout the country. I even assumed the, the role as the captain of the football team yeah. and I think that shows leadership skills as well. They also joined the uh, a competition. It was called the EWB Wind Turbine Project Competition and that was more to do with the with, with engineering itself. Yeah. and. I assumed the role as a subgroup leader. I was involved in designing and, and coming up with the, the blade the, the blade designs. Technically that was really important when applying for the placement placement opportunity because during the interview that the, the questions were asked about that. Yes, so during our first year, after our exam the first semester exam period, we had this this global engineering challenge. So Engineers from different backgrounds were put together in a group to solve a real world problem. The more I went into it, the more I thought this is really good because in industry you actually work with engineers from different backgrounds and I think that's really important. And the engineering we are hired is, is similar to the Global Engineering Challenge but it's more in depth and because we've gained a little more technical knowledge, we can apply that into solving a real world problem again. I talked about it during my interview and I said this improved your teamwork your communication and working under pressure because we had to come up with a solution within five days. Yeah. And I think when talking about that to interviews, it really pl played a huge role. Yes, I did actually. I, I think during my second year, I sent in my CV for review and I've been doing that a few times over the course of the years just to, 
to improve my CV because it's, I think it's an iterative process. As you gain more experience, you need to add more into your CV. Especially when applying for placements, I had it checked numerous times mm -hmm. because different companies look for different aspects and different yeah. skills. So I tried to tailor my CV as much as possible to certain companies that I applied for. Annually, they, they had the engineering, engineering fair, which I went to every year and I'd try to get as much information as possible from the employers. A lot of these companies joined and gave presentations on, on you know, the sort of opportunities that, graduate, that was offered from graduate jobs. So I think that was really beneficial because it gave a good idea of what the companies were looking for and so some of the companies I would like to join as well. I think, I think what's really important for international students is to be proactive. You're already taking a step into coming into a new country, so you're already out of your comfort zone. So be as proactive as you can, be involved in activities, extracurricular activities, join a society that you're interested in. There's definitely going to be a society you're interested in. And if there isn't, start your own society. <laughs> I, I personally know someone who has started their own society because they haven't found one. So I think getting involved in all these activities is really important for international students having a part-time job if possible. Employees look for experience mm. and as, as well as the ability to do your degree I, because I believe academic knowledge is just as important as extracurricular activities and your ability to exhibit your skills over there. If you are join, about to join university, think about where you, what you want to be involved in and if you're in university, get out there and be as involved as you can with as many activities as you can.